Hey everybody, I'm going to be teaching you how to create angel wings on your photos. This is featuring Brampty, if you guys don't know who she is. She has an awesome vlog channel, I'll link her down below. And I'm going to be using one of her photos from Instagram. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Procreate. I'm using Procreate Pro for the iPad, however there is Procreate Pocket, which is totally free and you can do a lot of the same things. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead over to the top right, we're going to add our photo. You're going to need two photos for this. You're going to need your actual photo, which we are going to import now. We're going to create a new layer on the top right. Just click the plus button. And then you're going to go ahead to the wrench on the top left, add, and then insert a photo. And you're going to find angel wings. Okay, you can find these pretty much anywhere. I just searched angel wings neon, and this is what I came up with. You're going to go ahead and resize and kind of get an idea of where you would want it. Go to the top right and find that layer so you can see it's layer two. You're gonna click on the end and then you're gonna decrease the opacity. That way you can see kind of the size. Now to edit it again, go to the top right and you're gonna, or top left, and you're gonna see the mouse. You're gonna head and use that. So now you can see how big you want your angel wings and you can kind of get an idea of where it's gonna lay. Okay, so make sure that they stay within your actual photo. So I think something like that would be good. Unclick off of that. Back into layers, you're gonna add a new layer, then you're gonna go into your paintbrush tool or your brush library. Make sure you're in luminance and click on light pen. Don't wanna edit any of those. Okay, and then color, I'm going to choose um, white, but you can choose pretty much any color that you want. Use your creative juices, and then you can change the brush size. So I'm going to see kind of how big I want it, maybe something about that big. And then you're going to make sure that you are in your layer 3, you're not in layer 2 or layer 1, you're in layer 3, okay? And then you're going to go ahead in and you're going to start tracing out the angel wings. And you can do this several times. You just kind of want to make sure that it's kind of flowy. And then depending on the thickness of the brush, you're going to get a slightly different look. Make sure that you're overlapping with the body and you're not cutting it short. Okay. So what I mean by that is that you can see that I overcrossed her arms here and her shoulders and her hair. That's what you want to make sure that you actually completed it. Okay. Then I'm going to go into the eraser tool. Go ahead and zoom on in and you're going to delete the part that's over top of the body. I'm kind of just doing a quick little edit but you guys would want to spend a little bit more time on this to make it look a little bit more realistic. Same thing over here. And also these produce kind of a glow, so you have to go ahead and kind of get rid of that glow as well. Anything that's kind of overlapping the body, you want to get rid of. So you can see this kind of has a shadow. Okay, same thing over here. And the best part is, is if you kind of make a mistake, just tap with two fingers and you'll be back in the game. Okay. Okay, that's okay. And then over here in the hair. Perfect. Okay. Now to make this look good, go ahead back into layers. And then layer number two, which is where the actual picture of the wings are, you want to delete that. And so now you're left with your angel wings. Now you can kind of see that because of the background, um, the wing is kind of getting erased on her on the right side of this photo. So you can kind of put, keep that into play. Maybe you'd want to go back over it with a different color. So in order to do that, go ahead in and I'm going to actually match her top. And then you can go ahead and make sure you make a new layer so that you're not affecting it. And I'm also going to decrease the size. 
and I'm also going to decrease the opacity. And then basically, I'm also going to get rid of layer one, and I'm going to change the background color here. I'm going to make it black just so that I can see the actual area where I drew. Then make sure you go back onto layer four. Okay, then go ahead in here and you want to very carefully retrace. Perfect. Now to bring back the layers, you're going to bring back layer one. You're going to make sure layer three and layer four are check marked. And there you have your angel wings. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, let me know down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.